Hi, we're sons of an illustrious father, and this is Austin Underground. Hello, my name is Chris Peck. You're watching Austin Underground. I'm here with... Ezra. Lila. Josh. Of Sons of an Illustrious Father. All right, so how are you guys doing today? How's your South by going? It's good. It's going, it's going fairly well. Um, no major crises so far. Yeah. So that's, that's really all one can ask. Yeah, pretty chill. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, you guys just released a new single called um, Extraordinary Rendition. Can you talk about just the writing process behind that single and kind of the message you wanted to send and also kind of just the new sound you're going for that you're kind of with the single that we can expect, um, hopefully expect new music, new music to come. Yeah, the, we wrote it pretty collaboratively. I brought a sketch of a song with one verse to the band and then over time it, it developed and a second verse came together and... We switched instruments a couple times and found its its current configuration. Um, the message it definitely is one of those things that would be hard to explain in an interview. Um, Hence the existence of the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and what was the other part? That was a what was the other part of that question? Kind of just now, like so. Oh, it looks new like sound, new yeah, sound. exactly. Yeah. yeah um, this album for us that's forthcoming was all about incorporating the voice of, of the machine and letting the machine speak in time, in places where um, priorly we had stifled the voice of the, the machine. And just kind of following up, what is this machine that you're talking about and what do you mean when you're saying that? Oh, I mean like literally the, uh, the machines used in the recording and making okay. of music. <laughs> <laughs> So the physical machine. I mean all machines, <laughs> okay. as personified. <coughs> Bless you. Yes. Bless you. Yes. Yes. Now I'm um, going back to your uh, debut album. Um, one of the things I found very interesting was uh, going back to like the, the last three tracks of the record: um, Conquest, Armageddon, and um, a Post Future. There seemed to be kind of a, a very thematic and also kind of sonic kind of structure to those three tracks. I want for you to go on to go into the decision of how you ordered them and also kind of the story you're telling there with those with those songs mm. yeah we definitely we it's definitely true that we overthink uh, song ordering um, yes. sometimes we engage in a process where we'll finish a song and see what face it makes us make and then we'll try to see what face it's easiest to get to with our faces and then see if there's a song that matches that face like that okay um but with yeah wait what were what were it's the conquest armageddon post future yeah I mean, it's an apocalyptic arc mm -hmm. <laughs> you know conquest is a song about uh the imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist, heteropatriarchy. AKA what's going on now. Armageddon <laughs> is a song about, you know, wrestling with those realities. And then post- What's happening soon. And post future is what may come. What will happen after that? Well, I'm excited for the post future then. But, um, so, uh, you know, getting into, um, now you guys all, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys all do some, do the vocals in the band, uh, kind of in different parts. You talk about like, the balancing act of, of balancing those three vocals and, and when you kind of, and how you kind of construct the music behind it so you kind of fit all three vocal styles. Hmm. We just made the same. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I how do we do that? it's honestly pretty intuitive and organic. It's just, mm -hmm. we love to sing together. And the way that each of us writes is conducive to harmony. Yeah, I think it's like um, the same way we are trying to support each other as people. 
it's a fun process to figure out how to support each other as singers and songwriters. So we hear the songs as they come in whatever fragmented form uh, they arrive in, and then you know we try to lift lift each other up with the music we make to surround those pieces. Great. Now looking into like you know all the different aspects of, of what this band is, and kind of you talk about just the the not only the balancing act, but how they kind of influence each other. Um, your acting career, obviously, and then our music, how they kind of like. I want to see how not only how of course the acting influences the music, but vice versa as well, and kind of where those things kind of intertwine. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that it's such a major inspirational factor in the music that we make. Sort of just um, a, a different part of my life and my artistry. Mm -hmm. The other two members of the band also have different parts of their lives and artistry. Uh, I think, you know, you, you, you just know about mine. <laughs> Are you yeah, saying yeah. that you're not influenced in your music by my research assistant job? <laughs> <laughs> or Josh's video game designing? Yeah. Um, just yes. Mean. Just mean. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah, that's fair. Are you guys influenced by, by your my, acting? my acting? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Sometimes. I think you're a good actor. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. I'm I've liked a lot your of your acting. performances. <laughs> some of them I didn't not like, to make art anymore because but of your some acting. of them I really did like. <laughs> great. I can tell you which later. Cool. This is great. You've yeah. opened up a yeah. But for all of a you, painful you conversation your, uh, <laughs> your music, you kind of almost like it's kind of a separate part of what, of, your, of your your other lives. I guess. Yeah, I think it would be safe to say that it has absolutely nothing to do with yeah. the work I do Our in film. Our lives <laughs> are interwoven and fed by yeah. everything we experience and yeah. that goes into our art but it's no more of an inspiration or factor in our expression than anything else any of us does with our lives and artistic practice. It's kind of like how a river flows from the mountains into the ocean. I, it's, <laughs> it's, are you saying there are many rivers and we're the ocean? Yeah, there's yeah. <laughs> Great, that's good. Yeah, Fantastic. yeah, right. that metaphor. All right, now, um, getting into just your future of your, of your album and looking at the head of, of the, the rest of this year, what is kind of this the outline of what this next year is going to be in the future music for Sons of an Illustrious Father? Uh, shows, songs, then there will be an album. Presumably more shows will follow it. Visual components. Dances. Um, sonnets. Yeah. Sonnets. I'm. No. I'm definitely not writing a sonnet. I don't have any sonnets in the bag right now. But sorry, it's well, they're here. denying sonnets, but we'll we'll see. So. Josh seems to I mean, think hey, we've got no. some sonnets. You've got sonnets. We, I don't, I'd love to I hear don't. your sonnets, Josh. I feel like I'd be easily wooed. Do you think you could recite one right now? Yeah, Josh. I don't. Come know. on. Come on. Chris, I think we'd love to hear a sonnet from Josh. The would fans would love a sonnet. The fans, sonnet Austin from Underground, Josh. they'd love a sonnet. <laughs> I, I, wind rises upon the sun, and what is left will come undone. And in the sea, we sing a song to sing of sonnets. Is with, that with a tiny love lasts teen for all evermore sonnet number 72 yeah cool man that's iambic pentameter that's how yeah iambic pentameter <laughs> that's how shakespeare works. wrote exactly yeah. how how shakespeare wrote yeah shakespeare was actually josh <laughs> the fringe theory <laughs> Well, thank you so much for getting a chance to sit down here next to this single uh, lonesome grave over here. You guys can't probably can't see on yeah. the camera, but uh, we should talk about that a little, right? Yeah, because we're sitting here. It looks like just your average um, Austin no. grassy knoll. No, 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 <laughs> but no, 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 no. Because no, 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 this is the the grave. We're actually Geraldine. We're sitting before the grave of Geraldine, um, who was a guinea fowl, much beloved. Love it these parts yeah 2014 we don't know much about Geraldine but 
we thank them for allowing us to enter this space. Yeah, we sure feel a lot about them. And they will live on through our words. So we and I like that comforting fact. Hilltop. Well, again, thank you so much for getting the chance to sit down and talk to me. Really appreciate it. Um, where can people find you guys online? Uh, Sons of an illustrious father dot com. And all of the other places the Facebook, where people go. The at Sons of an illustrious father, Instagram, Instagram. The Twitter. The um. Facebook. I think right. I said that. Right. Spotify. Spotify. Yep. Stream us on Spotify. Apple Music. YouTube that has videos. We made is a video. Is Apple Music what iTunes all. used to be? I guess so. Yeah, is, that. So is there no more iTunes? It's iTunes. I have iTunes on my computer. It's all so moving so happening? fast. I think you can you know, still Chris. buy songs, but you also can stream them from the same place. You I don't, don't know. know. Online. Yeah, okay. in that. Yeah. Go in, Go us. into the internet. That's and, what we do when we want to find ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Google it. All right. But uh, again, I'm Chris Peck with Austin Underground. For everything else, Sons of Illustrious Father is South by Southwest 2018. Make sure to follow Austin Underground on all our various social medias at ATX Underground and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Austin Underground. Again, I'm Chris Peck, and we'll see you next time.